Selling your car shouldn't be a pain. Avoid the time wasters, no shows, and low bowlers. For a safe and convenient experience, visit webuycars.co.za today. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. And today we're currently at We Buy Cars in Midstream. And I've actually got permission from her to film. Yeah, guys, these are actually the cars that they have. We paid top dollar for this. I don't believe you get it. This car, 2014 Mercedes Benz B Class, right? You can see there. Selling 165,900. It's above trade price, but it's below retail. So you've got kind of like a. So you've got quite. A, so you've got husband. Yay! Uh, can I have a switch? Nah, guys. Put the mic up here. Yeah. But yeah, before we get into the video, I'm gonna just explain to you guys what is DECRA. Okay, guys, so DECRA is the world's largest non listed export organization founded in Berlin, Germany in 1925. DECRA inspects more vehicles than any other organization. The DECRA report focuses on essential roadworthy aspects, including brake performance tests, tire specification and measurements, and a diagnostic report highlighting error codes. So at We Buy Cars, obviously you see DECRA reports, right? Firstly, you get the green sticker. The green sticker is vehicles that may require specific repairs to pass roadworthy tests. So that means the vehicle as it stands will not pass a roadworthy test because it needs work. Day after you get the gold sticker. Gold sticker vehicles have no identified roadworthy relevant issues and will pass a roadworthy test. However, there could be certain stuff that is wrong with the vehicle, but it's not as drastic, so the car can still pass a roadworthy. Thirdly, you get a platinum sticker. Platinum sticker is vehicle is 100% and ready to go um, there's no issues, there's no underlying issues. The car is fairly probably new, so it's probably on warranty still. It's probably, if you look at the cars that we buy cars, that's probably 2018 and over. Most of them have a platinum sticker that's in good condition. Um, other than that, most of the cars thereafter have green and obviously the gold. Four fifty-seven nine hundred retail four sixty-nine. Um, now this is what I was explaining to you before. You got your Decra green, Decra green, and then you got your Decra gold, Decra gold, also seven R. Um, this one is selling it. 507 A. No retail price on there. So yeah guys, we have you undercover here. 
because we weren't allowed to video but now we are allowed to video and like here we got a Decra green report and if you see the price 180 900 Toyota Fortuna Elite D4D Hot model 2009 2009 year model overall condition of the car is not that great but yeah yeah like this 7R to be honest with you for 2017 but the uh, condition is not the I don't know guys like to be dead honest with you that's your finishing on your spoiler scratched up wheels um look when you do come to rebuy cars you're gonna have to have an eye because it's basically buying a car from basically buying a car from like a private seller because once you buy the car you can't do anything after that any issues it's on you the decra report like i said is just the indication of what's wrong with the car after that it all falls on you so i mean some of the prices of these cars here is the same price as going to a dealership and you know if you go if you go to a dealership you're going to be able to go back if something's wrong I mean they I sort out everything like estimated retail 153 110 there is room for making money but you must understand something there's a lot of stuff that needs to be fixed like look at this bumper it's thin the car needs work so it's not like you're gonna just buy it from you and go sell it for the price that you're seeing there as retail and that's why some of these cars don't have retail because they're so new stuff and i mean this is decra platinum now decra platinum means ready to go so there's now no issues here this car is probably still a to plan got another decra platinum Tetra green like this Skiroko that price there that's your retail remember the retail is for the pristine one something that's super fresh this car has obviously stands before you can see scratches paint is fading I mean that's what people don't understand is that if you buy a car here you've seen the retail of one that's in the most pristine condition um, not what the retail of this exact car is like look at this 49k retail 83 um, but look at what you need to fix like you need to fix the whole side here that's what people don't understand when they come to Vivai cars is that it's Decra green which means there is some stuff to fix um, you come to Vivai cars and you're literally buying a fix me up or not a car that you can just take off and go I mean if you do then you look at Decra platinum or Decra gold and then you can get something like that but I mean other than that you're gonna need something you're gonna find something that needs work because none of these cars are perfect none of these cars are perfect like this Decra Platinum you can see when you see the car brand new tires um, and what price is it selling for the car is selling for it doesn't even have a sticker on here so I'm not even sure what price it's selling for but yeah take a look Tecra green that's Tecra green Tecra platinum see the difference 
Because he's a fix me up, but definitely, and that's what people don't understand. You buy the car for 50k, you're probably gonna have to spend another 20 to get it proper because I'm sure there's some mechanical issues. And then once you do that, your estimated retail is 83. Sometimes you're gonna spend more than that to fix it up, but yeah, people don't understand that and then fall for the stuff and then automatically say oh no it's a scam because the phone gave out some issues um so just walk around check what this is your bmw section so there is a wide variety of cars here yeah. super wide variety of cars Audis bikes <laughs> the beautiful ladies beautiful ladies in the way by cars <laughs> this bra bought the bucket with the trailer one shot two not he finished them. Whip. Here's Chloe. Chloe, you want this bike? I also said sleeping oil, Daga. You know what is it? Uh, I think you have to scan this. Scan this. Yeah, just check here what's that say. Doesn't say. Look. Have to scan that thing. But it's a Chinese brand. SK brand. Please do not sit. How you zoom in on the thing? Can't zoom in on this thing. There's a sign there. Please do not sit or lean at any of the bikes. Because they will fall. But this is the point. Buy to resell. It's open. You like this one? What's the thing here? Decra? Platinum, yeah, ready to go. But there's no price on you. Look. Mm -mm. It's nice for Chloe. Nice for Chloe. Mm. Chloe can't drive it. Space wide. Oh. Mileage eighty three, eight three nine. Yeah. So yeah guys a wide variety here. Yeah. As you guys saw the bikes there. Yeah. I'll shoot them in the GoPro for a bit. So yeah, I'll just go heading upstairs now. Heading upstairs get an overall view of uh, this particular way by cars brand what did he say this branch here um this is actually the richmond branch 
and uh, as you can see there's a lot of cars to choose from but um, as for buyers for I will tell you guys all about that as I've tried to sell cars to buy cars we've sold one of our cars to buy cars But when I do buy a car from my buy cars, I will always take the price that the car is selling for, right? And add minimum 20,000 on top of it, and then see if it's feasible. Uh, reason being is because obviously the car is going to come with issues. I have a 20,000 that's spared to put towards the car, and yeah, it's still under retail, so even if I have to sell this car, it's going to make me money. My past experiences with rebuy cars um, has been somewhat great and somewhat terrible. Um, they do not buy cars. The car is not on your name for more than eight months. I don't know if that changed now. But yeah, previously if the car is not on your name for more than eight months, they do not buy the car. Um, I probably sure I'm sure they have their reasons towards that because I'm pretty sure probably people buy cars from them, fix it up, bring it back, expect to get more. It doesn't work like that. Or if you buy a car and you're not happy with it and you want to take it back, unfortunately, they're not going to buy a car from you. Oh, and also, they, you must remember, we buy cars is basically taking on the risk for you. So that is why they offer you probably under book even. And that's because they'll try to match you if your car is in great condition, platinum status, and you know there's no issues, they will give you a good price. But if you're going to go to them and expect to get what you would get if you private sell the car, not going to happen. Bear in mind they're taking on the risk, so probably that's why they're going to have to sit with the car until it gets sold. They can't determine whether the car is going to sell the next day or if it's going to sell the next year. They are the middle person between buyer and seller. So they buy your car from you, you need to sell your car ASAP. They buy it from you for whatever price. They put their markup on because they have to now take the risk of selling this vehicle. They therefore get the DECRA report which just is an indication of what is wrong with the car. You could drive the car out and it could be something else happens. That's just an indication of the error codes that's there and what they see when whatever you must know they probably drove the car once on a test drive and never drive it again. The new owner comes, he takes it on a test drive. That's probably the second time a we buy car sales agent will sit in the car until it gets sold, which is only on test drives. So they don't drive the car, they don't know what is what. They just in the market of being the middle person of buying the car, sit, letting it sit in their warehouse, doing the DECRA report, selling it over to the seller. So yeah guys, from my point of view, for all those that say they get scammed by WeBuy cars and stuff, get your facts straight. I mean, that's just the car market. If you're into buying and selling cars and you're into the car industry, you will understand that Decra Green, although it's green, people think green because they see green robots and it's like, go. Green is just their way of saying car needs work. Gold is okay, medium. Platinum, best. Whereas if you see a robot, you'll be like, red is bad, orange is um, like, okay, and green is go. No, it doesn't work like that with a DECRA report. Do your research, do your homework, go there with a professional if you don't know how to look for spray work on a vehicle, how to look for accident damage. Um, yeah, and be 100% certain that this car is for you. Um, and if you are buying a car from them, keep an additional amount, add an additional amount on top so that you know that if something goes wrong, I can fix it because it's basically like buying from an auction or a private seller that if something goes wrong, it's on your head. Um, yeah, they are not a dealership. They're basically a car wholesaler. So with that, I'm going to end the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.
get callous. Sitting here on the natural high, like a pallet. Uh -huh. It be all good, toss your clothes like a salad. When it's all over, put your food in my ballot. This my diner, I'm Mel and your Alice. Spend the night and look to see palace. It be all good as long as you don't act childish. Uh -huh. While you're standing there with the crisp in your cup, what? the worst come to worst, keep this on the hush. Uh. Shorty, won't you go get a bag of lethal? 